Time for another soccer down here, 1v1. And for this week, go to Huntsville for a man who has had a change of business card recently. And it is catching up with Chad Emerson, who is now the managing director for business operations for the new MLS Next Pro franchise in Huntsville. And they have had their release. It is HCFC. Chad, thanks for hanging out for a soccer down here, 1v1. I'm excited to visit. We're excited to launch Huntsville City Football Club last week. So let's go. Let's go back to the absolute beginning of all of this. When when the conversations were started with you about being a part of professional soccer, being in Huntsville, Alabama, what were those initial conversations like with you, and what was your initial reaction? Yeah, I think um, the mayor and the city leadership realized that soccer's the fastest growing sport. We have a great minor league um, hockey team here, great minor league baseball, but uh, we saw uh, professional soccer growing and the city said, you know, what? let's let's see if there's opportunity. And that opportunity uh, was perfectly timed because around that same time, uh, Major League Soccer announced Major League Next Pro. So it was uh, just perfect timing. For those that don't know, and I know that that our footprint is the southeast, we're the, I guess, the Dixon side of the Mason-Dixon line for most of our audience. For those that don't know the soccer footprint and what it means to to Huntsville and the Shoals, for someone who's never been there, break that down. Yeah, so obviously the parent club is in National Soccer Club, and we are the Tennessee Valley, so there's always been a natural connection between North Alabama, Southern Tennessee. A lot of the workforce goes back and forth. There's a lot of people that work in Huntsville that live in um, Southern Tennessee. So I think what we found was that youth soccer and really adult soccer, the adult soccer league here in Huntsville, is one of the largest in the Southeast. It's just really, really well received because there's so many people that live in Huntsville that have moved here from all different parts of the country because of all the FBI jobs and the NASA jobs. So I think soccer is um, something that people, if they've moved here from across the country, really across the world, have brought their love of soccer to Huntsville. And that's why you see it grow here. And, and not just here in North Alabama in general. What's it been like for you coming from you know, being CEO of Downtown Huntsville Incorporated to, to work your way over this? What's it been like to see Huntsville grow not as necessarily an athletic community, but just as a, a community in and of itself. What's it been like for you to see Huntsville grow as a city to its place now in the Southeast? Yeah, one of the really um, exciting things about Huntsville and the city leadership and the business leadership is when the city decides to do something, we decide to do it really well. So, for example, a brand new aquatic center, it's one of the best in the Southeast or the country. Um, so the city decides if we're going to do it, let's do it right. And that's what's so exciting about MLS Next Pro and and our, you know, National Soccer Club. I mean, National Soccer Club is one of the premier franchises in MLS. And so being part of that soccer family is something that really resonates with people here in Huntsville. So then what is the the process? And where is the process now when it comes to, to turning over dirt, getting into Joe Davis? A lot of folks might not know the stadium situation, but for the, getting everything ready, all the infrastructure, where does that stand right now? Because next season is going to start before we know it. Yeah, yeah. It is um, it is a work in progress, and they're working fast in progress. Uh, Joe Davis is the former AA baseball stadium that the city is renovating. So it'll be one of the premier MLS Next Pro facilities. will also host high school football. So there's that community connection. Um, and other opportunities to do things there. And so um, with the season starting next year, uh, they're working every single day, almost getting things ready. It's starting to take shape. Um, we'll see hopefully uh, seats and stands and the pitch go in in the not too distant future. And then it'll really start looking like a, um, a great soccer destination. I know that we all have our to-do lists, and they could be in a bunch of different places. I will readily admit that I have four separate calendars that I reference when it comes to my day-to-day -day just because of where I could be. You know, if I'm here in, in my office, I've got one or two calendars. I've got the big desk calendar that we used to have, you know, that had all the dates on it and everything. I've got the one at the fridge. When it comes to ideas there's always that to-do list, you know, it could be on your phone, you pull out your stylus, you sit there, you write the idea, you jam the stylus back in, you file it away. Where is your to-do list? Is it on one of those big six by eight whiteboards off to your side? 
And what's the next thing that you think you can cross off of that list as you get ready for MLS Next Pro? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. I mean, I, I don't think I have a whiteboard yet, but um, I'd like to put things <laughs> on a whiteboard. But here's the great thing about being part of the National Soccer Club family, but also being a distinct club ourselves, is that there's so much collaboration. And so um, I don't really think of getting things knocked out, I think is moving things along. And so whether it's ticketing, whether it's merchandise, whether it's season tickets, group sales, things like that, it's always not, oh, we've accomplished that. It's how do we continue to make that better? It's a constant ongoing process. And so um, I would say today, you know, you work on one thing and there's some great things working on today. And then tomorrow presents some new opportunities. So that's what I love about this opportunity is, uh, no two days are the same. And, well, you know, during the course of this interview, hanging out with uh, Chad Emerson, Managing Director of Business Operations for, for Huntsville City FC, if you want to break news during this interview, feel free. You know, I'm not going to hold you back at any time. You can break any kind of news you want. Integration with Nashville. What uh, Are you getting 58 cents a mile? I mean, how is this going with conversations back and forth? Are you writing a whole lot of stuff off? What's the what are the what's What's the collaboration been like so far with the parent club? Now, what's really fabulous is that the, the National Soccer Club CEO is also our club president, Ian Ayer. And obviously, Ian is just such an experienced soccer professional. And so everyone from there to the entire senior leadership to everyone involved in the club on every level have been so welcoming and treating us as part of that family. And, and you know, they want us to succeed just as much. And so it's been so exciting just to have that level of collaboration um, just up and down I-65. How much have you got to, how, how much uh, have you had the opportunity to learn about the sport, business operations within the sport, franchise building, all those kinds of things? I mean, because anyone who knows about Huntsville knows about the success of the Trash Pandas and the new stadium and, and, and hockey and all these kinds of different things. How much of an education has this been for you when it comes to the sport of soccer? Yeah, it's been a great education. Obviously, there's some things when you start an initiative, you know, when we started downtown Huntsville Inc., there are some things that are, there's a commonality between starting things. But in this case, learning uh, how the soccer ecosystem works in terms of everything from the business side to all different levels of that, that's been something where uh, I think the secret early on is to listen a lot and just soak it in because there's so much uh, valuable knowledge um, with National Soccer Club, with the league. And so that's what I spent a lot more time listening than talking. Well, and I was going to ask because, I mean, there, there's just as much value, if not more, in just trying to listen and understand, especially when you're doing something that's new and you have a lot of these moving parts that are trying to integrate into one place, whether it's parent club and up and down I-65 and making sure that everything's there with the stadium and all these different pieces – there's a value, I think, in just listening. How long did it take you as, as someone who is a, uh, a captain of industry to, to understand the value of listening when it comes to building something? Yeah, I think that's a skill set I mean, learned early on in my career when I was practicing law. Um, you know, a lot of times you're sitting there in a deposition and you want to listen to what the other side is saying or listen to what the judge says. And so the, all the way back to that life experience, and that was a great life experience through um, other career changes is – I think you can, you, when you listen first, uh, you learn the most. It's kind of a little, it's a little bit of cliche, but it's an adage I use. So in this case, just listening and not just on the soccer side, listening to the Huntsville community, hearing uh, what people want. Even since the announcement, we've had so many people say, hey, where can I buy merchandise? Or I want to buy tickets here. Or what, what, what tickets in the part of this stadium do you think would meet this need if I have? And so I'm um, listening to our community and how they want to embrace this. And they've embraced it in a big way so far. Let's talk about that big rollout that you had. What was it like when you're making the announcement, the night of the announcement, and you see the line of folks who are ready to come into the building? What was How surreal an experience was that for you to see, oh, wow, we've got folks that are ready. You know, it's not just like doors open, doors unlock, people walk in, door is locked, folks are outside, they want in. What was that like for you to see that initial moment? Yeah, it's a funny uh, story. Uh, one of the folks at the Von Braun Center, where Mars Music Hall, it's where we hosted the launch um, party, they said, "Is you know, we've had all these concerts here, 
And I don't know if we've had as long a line for these concerts as we had for the reveal party. I said, well, that's encouraging. Um, a lot of the stuff we were doing that day, super busy, but I remember opening the door and just seeing Huntsville standing outside. And that was just really rewarding because it means that our community wants to support soccer and our community loves soccer. Let's get into the the name of the franchise and the, the look and the logo and the crest and all that stuff. How much was the thought that went into the look that makes sure that you're representing both your parent club with color scheme, but the city with what it wants to accomplish with the sport? What went into the de- the designing of all of those elements? Yeah, it, w- it was amazing to see the uh, professionals with National Soccer Club really come down here and just learn about our city. It wasn't done from a distance. People came in and toured facilities and met with people and talked to locals. And I think that brought a level of authenticity that you can't get just from, you know, across the country. And so that was part of it. You want to have your own identity for Huntsville, but also connected to the parent club. And I think you see that even with something as straightforward as the color scheme, um, similar colors, maybe trade an accent color and for an accent color or, you know, going with a more um, conventional soccer name. I think you see a lot of those similarities. And plus, then you have someone like Ian who leads both the efforts. There's going to automatically be continuity in his leadership. So what's it been like for you to wander around town and see the the physical representation of the work that's been put in so far, whether someone's grabbing a hat or a scarf or whatever, or just showing the support how they do with the gear? What's it been like to see that physical representation? <laughs> it's been kind of fun. I've been stuck in traffic a couple of times and I look out my window and there's one of our uh, magnets on the back of someone's car. I was like, wow, it's real now. <laughs> um, the magnets and stickers have been super popular. I've already, uh, my, uh, my kids have talked about a couple of lunch boxes they've seen at school that have the uh, HCFC stickers on them. So that's rewarding. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So then what does your car look like? Do you have the stickers and the bumper stickers and everything, or are you still pretty much clandestine and just kind of observing everything so far? No, no, I was, I, I tried to be the first person to put a magnet on my car. I don't know if I, if I made it, but as soon as I got it, I walked out to the car and put it on there. So it's, it's again, it's a, it's a great logo. It's, it's so, so well done. Our professional marketing team put together something that really resonates. You see on the logo, for example, a checkerboard pattern, right? And the reason that's there is because on the Saturn V, which is part of the Rocket City history, there was a checkerboard pattern. And so it's that tie, even if you don't know that tie, it looks great. But if you do know that tie, it really shows the connection to the Rocket City. So what are some of the next markers, including if you want to break news here while we're wrapping up our conversation, but what are some of the next markers that folks need to look for when it comes to to HCFC? Uh, there's lots of exciting things coming up. Our, our, our team will come together. Coaching staff will come together. The kit will be revealed eventually. So um, obviously we're working in progress on those kind of things, but um, we're really excited what the next, you know, between now and May is going to hold. All right. So now cut the promo for me for those that want to grab the magnet. They want to grab the bumper sticker. They want to grab the scarf or the T-shirt. They want to keep an eye on what's going on with everything up there. How do they do it? Yeah, you can go to HuntsvilleCityFC.com. There's a tab for season tickets. There's a tab that'll lead you to the merchandise shop. Uh, Have some scarves there and hoodies and great um, uh, merch there. Our merch team has done an amazing job. So HuntsvilleCityFC.com. And then on social platforms on Huntsville City FC. What he said, Chad Emerson, the new managing director for business operations for MLS Next Pro's Nashville Soccer Club entry, Huntsville City FC. Chad, thanks for hanging out with us for a 1v1. Congratulations on the launch. Love the crowds. Love the fact that this is really taking hold up there. And it is definitely going to be like trying to grab a Saturn V by the tail as soon as it hits uh, SRB. This is really going to hit quickly. Thanks for hanging out with us for a 1v1. We'll see you next spring at a soccer match in Huntsville.